Hi, uh, this is Amit Kirti here. In this video, I would like to talk about topological sorting. So the items for discussion are topological sorting introduction, breadth-first search example for topological sorting, then source removal example for topological sorting. Then we will see the breadth-first search algorithm itself and how to use it for topological sorting. And the final topic will be the source removal algorithm for topological sorting. Now to topological sorting algorithm um, is basically used on a directed graph. So if we have a directed graph, then topological sorting or topological ordering, ordering of the graph is a linear order of the vertices of the graph such that if UV is an edge in the graph, then U should come before V in the topological ordering. So basically let's assume that um, there is a student who, has, who is supposed to major in computer science and he has to say take say five courses so that he gets a degree in computer science. Then in what order should he take the subjects so that uh, he can get a degree? For example, if he has to do uh, a major in computer science in WiMAX or probably LT, then he before taking a course on LT, he should know what is networking. And probably before taking networking, he should have taken a course on operating systems. And before taking operating systems, he should have taken a course on the basics of computer science. So there has to be an order in which he has to take the courses. So in what order he should take the course is what is the solution for him to get a degree. So in a figure, we can probably describe the, the courses the way he has to take as below. So we need to find a solution for this graph that is the order in which A, B, C, D, E have to be taken so that he can get a degree. So now let's try to find the topological sorting using depth first search. So this would be our first algorithm. So let's assume I have a, a graph like this which has five vertices and they are connected uh, the way it is shown here. So I will use a stack to try to find the topological sorting for the above um, graph. So first uh, for depth first search, uh, we know that first we have to take start at one vertex and then keep going in depth first search till we reach the end. So if I were to start with A, then my next vertex would be C. Then from C, I have two options. Either I can go to D or E. So let's assume I take D as my next vertex and from D I would actually go to E. So once I hit E, I am actually hitting the dead end. So what I do is I have actually gone to the dead end. So I will start popping the elements. So first I pop E, then I pop D, then I pop C and then finally I pop A and then I am actually left uh, with just the one vertex which is not in the stack that is B. So B is the only vertex so I'll put the vertex B in the stack back and then since from B I cannot go to any other vertex because all other vertices have already been traversed what I do is I just pop the element and put it at the end of the list. So what I have done is I have popped all the elements from the list and let's assume I go and read these elements in backward order so first I read B, then I read A, then I read C, then I read D and then I read E. So this would be my topological sorting for the graph using depth first search. So you will see that the order in which the subjects need to be taken is listed here. So if I have to take a course on E, then I should have taken a course from this graph I should have taken both D and C. So both D and C occur before E. And in order to take a course on D, it should, I should have first taken a course on C, so which is satisfied here because C comes before D. And in order to take C, I should have taken both the courses A and B. So both courses A and B have come before C. This is a, so this is a proper topological sorting you uh, of elements and we have used depth first search to do this. 
So there is another algorithm uh, that is topological sorting using source removal. So we'll try to look at an example for topological sorting for source removal. Now topological sorting for source removal is fairly straightforward. All it says is remove a vertex and the corresponding edge which doesn't have any incoming edge. For example, in this graph, find out the vertices which don't have incoming edge. So for example, A and B, they just have outgoing edges and they don't have incoming edges. So we have to choose the elements which don't have an incoming edge. So first I can choose either A or B. So I choose A and I remove the edge as well. Then I take the next vertex which doesn't have an incoming edge which is B. So I will take B and remove the incoming edge as well. Uh, sorry, outgoing edge. So now the next vertex which doesn't have an incoming edge is C because we removed both the uh, incoming edges. So next is C. So I remove all its outgoing edges. So the next vertex which doesn't have an incoming edge is D. So we add D to our sorted list and remove the edge. And then the final vertex which doesn't have an incoming edge is E. So we add it back. So the, the criteria is fairly straightforward. Just pick the vertex which doesn't have an incoming edge and put it in your sorted list. So again, we get the same order. So in just note that it could have been B, A, C, D, E as well. So since A and B both do not have an incoming edge, the order in which A and B are added into the list can uh, differ. So the other solution could have been B, A, C, D, E as well. So this is of topological sorting using source removal. So now we will try to uh, look at the algorithm for topological sorting which uses depth first search. So there are two parts uh, to the algorithm. So the first part will actually call a function called visit and the second part is the visit function itself which will keep recursive link calling itself so let's see what the first part does the first part says we should have an list l which is empty and which will contain the final sorted order so let me first draw the graph and the vertices i will just list it down here so it says first i should pick a list l which is empty so that's what i have done here then it says pick a list s of nodes with no outgoing edges. So the guy who doesn't have an outgoing edge is E. So the algorithm that we are going to use in depth first search is, is slightly different from what we saw as an example previously. So in the previous example, we started from A and went into a depth first search till E. Whereas in this algorithm, we will start in the reverse order. That is, we'll start with E. So this is another way of doing it. So I wanted to, um, you know, bring out this way of doing uh, topological sorting using depth first search. And this algorithm, I got it from Wikipedia. So it says in S, put all the nodes which don't have any outgoing edge. So E is the only guy who doesn't have an outgoing edge. So I will take S and I put the element E inside S. So what does it say next? It says that for each node in S, that is for each element, call visit of that. So I'll call visit of E. So I will go into the visit function. And in the visit function, it says if N, that is N is our E here, has not been visited, yes. Uh, yes, E has not been visited. So first mark E as visited. So mark E as visited. Then for each node M, which has an edge to N. So for each node, which is having an edge to E, so there are who all have edges to E. There are two vertices that is C and D. So we have to pick one of them. So let's pick D. Then what do I call? I recursively call visit on D. So from E, I'm calling recursively a visit function on D. So I will go back into visit function with D as my node. So what do I do? If N has not been visited. So in this case, N is D. So visit of D. So since D has not been visited, I will mark D as visited. And then for each node which is adjacent to D, who is adjacent to D? Only C. So call visit on C. So I called visit on E, visit on E called visit on D and visit on D calls visit on C. So visit on C is called and since C is not marked, 
I'll mark C as visited. And for each node adjacent to C, I have to call visit on that guy if he has not been visited. So C's adjacent guys are A and B. So I will pick one of them. So I'll pick B and call visit on B. So I am recursively gone four steps deep into recursion. Um, visit of E has called visit of D. Visit of D has called visit of C. Visit of C has is going to call visit of B. So when I call visit of B, I make the vertex as marked. And from B, I try to uh, see who all have been, who can be visited. So from B, there is nobody else to visit. So I won't enter into this for loop. I will simply go and add B to L. So I will go and add B to L. So B's job is done. So I will recursively go back to its parent, that is C. So once I come back to C, I will be in this for loop. So one guy who has been visited is B. So from C, I try to find the next guy who is having an edge to C and that guy is A. So I will for in this for loop, I will call visit of A. So visit of A gets called and if A has not been marked, mark A. So I mark A as visited and then for each node M that is so for each A, I will call visit of A. So for each C, I will call visit of A. So visit of A gets called. And then since it has not, this condition fails, I'll come back and then add A to the visited list. So A's job is done. So I will recursively go back into D. And from D, I will come here and then I will add uh, D back to the list. So I will, uh, sorry, I'll add C to the list and then I'll recursively go back to D function. In the D function, if the for loop is done, so I will add D into L. Once I add D into L, I'll recursively go back to D's parent, that is E. And then since for loop for E is done, I will go and add E into the list L. So E has been added into the list L and we are done with all vertices. So L represents the topological sorting of all elements. So we have actually got back our same answer that is B, A, C, D, E. So you will notice that C and D come before E, C comes before D and B and A come before C. So this is a proper topological sorting. So this was our first algorithm. Now let's try to look at the second algorithm that is topological sorting using source removal. So again, I have a list L which is an empty list that will contain the sorted elements. So let me first try to draw the, the graph. And then since L has to be empty, I'll just take the list as empty. Then S is a set of all nodes with no incoming edges. So again, this algorithm will be slightly different from what we saw previously. And again, I got this algorithm from Wikipedia. So S is a set of all nodes with no incoming edges. So who are the um, vertices with no incoming edges? So you will see that in the above graph, the elements are A and B and they don't have any incoming edges. So till S is not empty, yes, S is not empty because I have two elements. It says remove a node from S and insert it into L. So I'll remove one node A and I insert into L. Then it says for each node M with an edge from N to M. So for each node which has an edge from A, remove the edge from the graph. So which is the vertex which has an edge? So AC is an edge. So remove that edge from the graph. So I go ahead and remove that edge. Then if M has no other incoming edge, then insert M into S. So if this guy C has no edges, no more edges, then C can be inserted into S. But since C has more edges, we will not do this and we will go into the while loop again and then remove a node again from S. So we will remove the second vertex from S and put it into L. Then for each edge from B, so from B there is only one edge BC. So he says remove that edge. So I go ahead and remove it. Then the guy to whom the edge was, that is C, if he has no more edges. So in this case, we don't have any more edges to C. So put C into S. So that's what we do. So C has been put into S and then we go up again here. And then what we will do is we check again is M S non-empty? Yes, S is non-empty because I have an element C. 
So it says remove that element from S and put it into L. Okay, I'll put C into L and I remove it. Then what it says is for each edge from C. So from C I have two edge. So I'll take the first edge. It says remove the first edge from the graph. So I go and remove the first edge. And if the guy to whom the edge was, that is D, if he does not have any more incoming edges, then put him into S. So D does not have any incoming edges, so I'll go ahead and put him into S. And then I will go up in the for loop again and I check is there any more edges from C. Yes, C has an edge again from uh, C to E. So I remove that edge again. So I go ahead and remove that edge. And if the element E does not have any more edges, then I can put him into S. But since E has uh, one edge, we will not do anything. And then we will uh, go ahead in the for loop and since there are no more edges, so we are done with C. So this for loop for C is done. So we will go up and then again we check is S non-empty. Yes, S is non-empty because there is one element. So what do I do? I remove him from S and put him into L. Then for each edge from D, remove that edge. So from D I have just one edge, I will remove that edge. Then what I do is, if the guy to whom the edge was, that is if E, if he does not have any more incoming edges, yes that is true, E does not have any more incoming edges, then insert him into S. So I go ahead and put him into S. Then I go up and again check is S non-empty, yes, S is non-empty because there is one element. So remove him from S and put him into L. So I'll remove him and put him into L. Then for each edge from E, there are no more edges from E. So I don't go into the for loop. I'll come out of this for loop and go back into the while loop. And if S is non-empty, so S is actually empty. So I have to come out of this while loop and I check if graph has edges. So we see that we have removed all edges. So graph does not have any more edges. So we will go into the else case and say L will return back saying that L is a topological order graph. So we have got a topological order that is A, B, C, D and E. So this is the topological so sorting example So uh, and the algorithm. So thanks for watching this video.